A protest shut down Portage and Maine earlier this afternoon. It was spearheaded by people who want the province to search the landfill for the remains of two Indigenous women. And tonight, family members say they believe a search will happen. City of Danton Unger was at that protest and joins us now live in studio with the latest. Danton, what happened today that has families hopeful a search will now happen? Well, they say they met with Canada's Crown Indigenous Relations Minister this morning, a meeting they say has left them with promising news. But despite this hope merrily, the protest very, very nearly turned violent. <laughs> Anger boiled over as one protester faced off with guards in front of the Manitoba legislature. Come on! But before this could escalate further, other protesters stepped in, calling on the crowd to remain peaceful. Oh, yes, no. This came after protesters converged on Portage and Maine, painting a red dress mural on the road and calling on the province to... The group has been demanding a search of the Prairie Green landfill north of Winnipeg for the remains of Mercedes Myron and Morgan Harris, two Indigenous women who are believed to have been dumped there. Now the family says they finally have some promising news. It brought me to tears. Him telling us we're going to get this work done. Melissa Robinson, the cousin of Morgan Harris, says the family had a private meeting with Canada's new Crown Indigenous Relations Minister in Winnipeg Thursday morning. We, we have a plan for the next 90 days of things that need to happen. Uh, so like we said, you know, words can only go so far. We want to start seeing action. And we, we gave him ideas of what needs to be done. He said, okay, we're going to start going from there. I can't share exactly what, but there, there will be some movement. The crowd then took the protest throughout downtown Winnipeg to Manitoba Premier Heather Stephenson's front door. Say it time and time again. They don't want to search the landfill. We will. The family now more resolved than ever that a search will finally happen with or without the province's help. We've reached out to the Office of Canada's Crown Indigenous Relations Minister and we're still awaiting a comment.